Hello everyone and welcome in another tutorial of STM8 series. In this tutorial we are going to use the UART functionality of the STM8. First of all let's move to the ST Visual Developer IDE and create a new workspace for our project. Uh, let's create a workspace and a project or you may create an empty workspace whatever you like. Uh, let's navigate to our desired folder location where you want to save all of your projects in future in this workspace I'm going to navigate to my documents and I'm going to um, create a new folder in this my document and uh, uh, the, I am going to name the STM8 uh, YouTube series uh, this is the name of the folder which I'm going to use and it is created and uh, STM8 YouTube series okay so let's uh, go to this workspace and add a new project to this workspace insert a project into the workspace, uh, workspace and uh, we need to create a new project and here a new project let's move to the directory of this is stm8 youtube series and create a new folder i'm going to name it uh, uart ex01 and let's okay the folder is created and i'm going to name the project or uh, with the same name and uh, the tool chain which i'm going to use is uh, the stm8 cosmic this is a uh, very important i'm going to use the stm8 cosmic compiler in this tutorial press ok now we need to select the microcontroller and i'm going to use stm8 as uh, 003 and f3p uh, this is very similar with the 103 f3 and uh, same code will uh, run on both of the microcontrollers if you expand your folder structure here you will notice the source file double click on the main.c file and this will look like this first of all we need to include the header files stm 8s 003f3 dot h and let's hit build and uh, the command is failed uh, the error is because we uh, named uh, the wrong header file this is uh, stm8 as uh, uh, 003.h and we are going to use this header file if we hit build again and yes it will be compiled without error so the header file is iostm 8s003.h and uh, now we are good to uh, start over uh, programming first of all let's um, go to the reference manual of stm8 and here navigate to the universal asynchronous receiver transmitter which is a uart manual and click uh, on that and in the reference manual the uart is stm8 s and stm8 af microcontrollers families uart 1 to a 3 or 4 offer a flexible means of full duplex data exchange uh, so it is a full duplex but we are only going to use a um, normal mode of operation let's scroll down a little bit and uh, let's find out which registers are involved in the UART procedure so first of all we have a baud rate selection register which is a BRR register and uh, also we have uh, some control registers as we are used to in STM8 structure and uh, CR1 and CR2 are more important control registers CR1 and CR2 and B -E BRR so these are the main registers involved in the UART functionality uh, BRR is uh, responsible for generating the baud rate and uh, don't forget to enable the clock for the uh, peripherals so these are the things that we need to uh, start with 
and uh, the there are two registers for brr1 and brr2 to generate the baud rate and uh, the dr register is uh, used for receiving and uh, sending the data uh, to and from the uart and if you come to the table number 54 it will tell you which value you want to put on brr1 and brr2 for a required part rate uh, let's suppose we are going to use a 9600 kbps baud rate and for that 9.6 uh, kbps or 9600 baud uh, bps baud rate uh, we need if we are using a 16 megahertz clock we need to put this value which is 68h and 03 value this value we need to put in the brr1 and brr2 register so this is the value that we need to put on that the sr register is also very important here we are we will check if the transmitter data register is empty so that we can transmit the next uh, byte and we can uh, see if the transmission is complete we can also read the fifth bit to make sure that there is some data which we need to read from the serial port and uh, we can also detect the idle line and these are the main thing that we uh, need uh, the main uh, rx and e uh, read data register not empty mean we need to wait from that register or the txe transmission data register empty we need to make sure before sending the next byte let's come back to the our main.c file and start writing the code the first line that we need to write is the clock divider set to zero this will set the clock to the 16 megahertz internal crystal after that we are enabling the clock for all the peripherals and this is a uh, clk pck e and r1 register is responsible for handling the clock of all the peripherals. if we come to the reference manual we can see uh, the functionality of this register and uh, the pc k e and r1 is responsible for peripheral clock gating register and uh, the bits uh, pc uh, 6 uh, 17 and uh, 10 these are the clocks that are and if we see uh, the clock bit 12 and 13 and the uh, control bit 12 and 13 is for a uh, uart 1 2 3 4 and uh, all uh, the other remaining peripherals are ice cube c spi timer 4 6 timer 2 5 3 and 1 the next step in the initialization is to set the baud rate of the UART. We are going to set the 9600 baud rate which we have seen in the table from the reference manual before. Next we need to select the stop bits and uh, this is UART CR3 register which, which is responsible for setting the stop bit. We are uh, in the default mode we uh, use one stop bit and there are two bits bit number four and five which are responsible for selecting the uh, stop bit and we need to make all of these two bits to the zero. So let's do that in the UART1 and CR3 register we are going to do the ending to clear the 4 and 5th bit this will select the one stop bit the next thing is to enable the transmission and reception uh, UART1 CR, uh, CR2. CR2 register is uh, responsible for setting the transmission and reception. So the bits that we need to enable the transmission and reception are the second bit for receiver enable. And if we set this the second bit to one it will enable the receiver and if we set the third bit to one it will set the transmission enable so let's set the second and third bit 
the CR tools gesture and we need to make these bits one the second and the third bit to enable DX and RX so that's all for the initialization of the UART we are good to transmit the uh, any character to the serial port or receive the character from the serial port so first of all we will uh, write a transmission code how to send a data uh, to the serial port it is very simple if we go to the status register and uh, here we can see the tc bit which is the sixth bit which is responsible to tell us that transmission is complete and uh, uh, so we move back and all we do is to put a value in the dr register what one and dr register and we will put let's say a and after that uh, we will have to wait for until the a is transmitted properly and we will do that by reading a bit from the sr register and the bit is the seventh bit let's make sure from the reference manual uh no it's a sixth bit and uh, we will read the sixth bit to make sure that transmission is completed so this will send a uh, a character to the serial port let's compile the plug your uh, dongle and uh, the setup of your microcontroller uh, the board and uh, let's save everything and let's save the workspace as well and uh, build after that just start debugging it will automatically detect the ST link and program and there is a connection error it means you need to uh, select the chip properly make sure your connections are working fine so it is uh, the code is uploaded successfully we can stop the debugging process i'm going to use arduino to read the character from the serial port and because arduino has a very good serial terminal interface you can use any other serial terminal you like like hyper terminal or any other that you wish before that you need to connect uh, the pin of uh, pd5 and pd6 or if you are using the stml stm8 blue pill board this is uh, the tx and rx pin you need to connect to the proper um, uh, c uh, rs2322 uh, ttl to usb uh, converter and uh, you can use ft232 chip or any other converter that you uh, find easily once you connected and plugged your converter to the uh, computer you need to make sure which com port it is it is com 35 and uh, start the serial terminal it will send the a to the serial port okay so this is it and uh, if you reset it will send the a again so that's the transmission process you can also use the putty if you feel comfortable using putty you can use it all you have to do is to write the com name and all the default configurations are okay uh, let's try to open up next if we want to read something from the serial port all we have to do is to uh, check if the reset, uh, rx e bit is in for that let's move back to the reference manual and uh, see uh, what which bit is responsible it is the fifth bit rx and e and we need to make sure the rx and e bit is one if this bit is one it means we have something to read from dr register and uh, let's read the bit and we can read uh, you are one sr and okay so we had made a little bit a mistake here and uh, the transmission complete is one and we need to wait for zero so we need to change this here and we need to make sure until the sixth bit is zero we have to wait 
So until the sixth bit is zero, we have to wait. And once it is one, it means the transmission is complete. But in this case where we want to read the fifth bit to make sure that something is present in the DR register to read and so we need to read the bit condition one. So here we are going to echo back this the character the DR character so let's create the unsigned char in char variable to read the data from seal port and uh, let's create a function white your dx function and uh, let's move these two lines in the tx function and uh, get a unsigned char value and put that value to the <coughs> dr register after that uh, let's create another function for uart rx and we do not need to pass anything to this function all we have to do is if or let's block while not you are sr so we need to read the bit and the bit is bit number five and once there is something in the uh, the register we will simply return the uart1 dr register so now we have the rx function we can in char is equal to uart rx and whatever we receive let's let plus one increment that value and send back to uart so in this case if we transmit a character we will uh, echo back b character so that's how this will work so let's see if the code let's see if the code is working let's upload the code to the microcontroller plug let's upload the code you are sr is not defined let's uh, see which line it is okay we need to write the uart1 here and uh, let's reprogram start debugging the program is uploaded and uh, let's stop the debugging here and move back to your arduino and uh, insert the TTL to RS232 converter and open the terminal and echo character A you will receive B if you send C you will receive uh, receive D and uh, let's say U and that's all so this is how over this is how over code is working and here you go so it will echo back the next character so y will if we send y it will send back z if we send a it will send back b and if we send capital a it will send capital b and if we send zero it will send us one so that's how it is working that's all for today's tutorial and uh, uh, please see the description to find out all the related tutorials to the stm8 thank you and stay tuned for the more upcoming video